Hi the Muse.tv, I'm Brooke and I'm so excited that you've picked me as one of your presenters. I want to introduce myself to you the best way I know how. Come to my wardrobe. And here it is. I love being comfortable. Comfortable is key for me, especially as I'm a photographer. So I do have a lot of jeans, a lot of shirts and a lot of cardigans and I love to layer up. I love to be warm as well because I'm quite petite. I do get cold quite easily so I like the layers and I like adding pops of colour here and there, but not too much. This is my most embarrassing drawer, okay? There are no bright colours in here whatsoever. These are all my basic tops. Blacks, greys, navies, whites, with a very small pile of coloured tops. Very, very muted tones. But I'm hoping that's going to change, and I'm hoping I'm going to learn a few things along the way at themuse.tv and hopefully inject a little bit more colour and experiment a little bit more. Next down, a little bit more adventurous on the bottom half. These are my shorts, absolutely obsessed with them. Come rain or shine, you can find me wearing them with leggings, with tights, or with nothing and just some sandals. Could not live without them. Slightly more adventurous with my boho leggings. These are extremely comfortable and they look amazing. And I've worn them with heels and I've worn them with Converse boots. So really, extremely versatile. I love patterns. I love boho, I love hearts, I love spots. This is one of my favourite new purchases, which is actually a beach dress, but I've been wearing it with leggings and boots, and it works really, really well, because obviously there's the nudes and blacks, but there is an injection of really, really fluorescent yellow, which kind of is how I see myself as, you know, I can be kind of understated, but there is that injection of fluorescent. This is my favourite purchase. This is a Topshop silk midi length dress. I wore it for a friend's wedding, and I loved it. And the best thing about it, is that I got to wear it with killer heels that you're able to see because of the midi length. Now, I'm slightly shorter than the average and that's where my shoe collection comes in. As you can see, heels, heels, heels. They are six inches, that's a whole lot of height. When I'm not wearing heels because obviously being a photographer, being out and about, it's important to have something a little bit more comfortable, you'll always find me wearing these. Alternatively, you'll find me wearing some ankle boots, which I'm wearing now. They're flat, but there's always going to be a tiny little bit of a heel just to keep me up there. This one item I haven't yet worn, and I'm plucking up the courage to do so. It's incredible. I saw it in Jessie J. It's from River Island, and it's really not that expensive. I'm not sure whether I'm going to split the two up and wear the trousers with the plain top and wear the, wear the blazer with some skinny jeans. Staple item has to be my leather trousers from H&M. They were really cost effective, they feel and they look great. I've, I've been known to wear these down to the shops or wear them out clubbing. My second staple item would definitely have to be my Topshop Grubby Knit. It looks absolutely great. So again, smart casual with the leather trousers and a pair of my tan heels. Alternatively, with a pair of baggy jeans and my Converse. Brilliant. So that's my wardrobe, and this is me. I am so, so excited to be presenting for themuse.tv. And if there's anything you've seen in there you want to know where it's from or how much it was, just drop me a message and I'll get in touch, either through the comment box or on Twitter or Facebook. I will see you next time. Mwah.